Hey guys. Well, I was driving home and uh, off to the horizon I saw a column of smoke. And it looked like it was out on the uh, Nokuzi Plantation, which is a uh, wildlife preserve not far from where I live. And uh, I, I figured I could access the neighboring property, which is a wildlife management area just south of it, uh, the Lafayette Creek WMA. So I, I went in and parked where I usually go when I come in here hiking. And uh, so I'll set off and, and make my way that direction and see how things go. It's probably going to be about a mile, mile and a half hike in, so it's going to be a little bit. Until then, I'm going to quit recording. So here I am, I'm about ready to take off. I'm going to slide my goggles onto my face, pick up the transmitter, which I should have done before I put on the glasses, and take off. This is an excellent example of uh, what the video feed to the goggles or the video station looks like. It's not crystal clear. It's going to be a little grainier. It's going to be a little quality. Uh, you're going to get some static and glitching. In case in this case, you're seeing the lines across there. It's good enough to fly by, but it's not the high quality that you usually see through the uh, Mobius or the GoPro recorded footage. I got up, got the footage I wanted. There's my landmark. You can see the X in the road. And uh, I'm going to come back in and land right next to myself, hopefully. It's very important while you're flying FPV to kind of get an idea of where you're taking off from before you take off. Um, then once you get up in the air, do a loop around, find where you started from, and then go fly. It makes it a lot easier to find yourself when you try to come back and land. And this portion of the video makes an excellent example of the difference between a uh, high definition recorded video on board and what you're getting transmitted to the ground. You can tell the very obvious difference between the greenness of the one on the right and my Mobius on the left. It's about this point here the battery decided to die and the aircraft fell to the ground. And here's the slow motion replay of from the point the propeller stopped spinning to where it impacted. This is about how long it felt for me as it was falling. I wasn't smart enough to take the goggles off while this was happening and then get a visual on the aircraft as it fell. That would have made finding it a lot easier at the end. No, I just went along for the ride. There's the one tree I talk about later. And the ground. Hey guys, well, if you're at this point, you saw the footage I just put up, and uh, you saw there was some good and some bad. <laughs> I had to do that one more flight. I knew I'd tax the battery. It's a little three cell, 1,000 milliamp, running that 250 quad, and I'd already been a couple flights up on it. You know, minute here, minute there. You know, and you're getting a max of about four or five minutes, maybe six minutes flight time out of it. And uh, yeah. I had, I had used it up. So uh, as I was flying on that last flight, got up pretty high, and as you saw, the motor's cut out. I'm guessing I hit the low voltage cutoff, and uh, down it came. I actually was considering cutting off the throttle, just letting it fall, but no, that KK2 board, it did a good job of uh, keeping it fairly level. Uh, <laughs> when it landed, I heard the thunk, but I had the goggles on, so I didn't see where it hit. Took off the glasses, grabbed the uh, FPV monitor, went out looking for it, and uh, no luck. It, it wasn't where I thought it was. Well, fortunately, I had the Sharp Vision um, Diversity DVR monitor. I 
bought from fpvmodel.com. Thanks, Jason. And uh, with that, I was able to review the last bit of the footage. And if you saw in the, the video, you could see the last thing it was looking at as it hit the ground was a single tree in the field and then a series of trees in the background. And uh, I was able to find that tree, line up where the trees were in the background compared to the picture, and I was practically standing on the uh, quadcopter. So let that be a lesson to you. You know, if you're going to crash like I do, make sure you have some sort of system to recover your aircraft. Uh, it's amazing how hard it is to find one of those little things, even in a small area, and as clear as that was. Imagine if it was all wooded. Uh, you know, you can put a buzzer in there, but if it ejected the battery, the buzzer doesn't work. So that DVR monitor was a was a, a day saver, if you would. Well, as you might be able to tell, I'm trying to talk and I'm somewhat out of breath because I'm old and fat. Uh, I probably should just go ahead and call it quits for now. I'm just about back to the truck. It was about a mile walk. It wasn't too bad. And uh, all in all, I think I got some good footage today. I uh, had a just a great day going out and driving around and flying my FPV. Well, until the next one, guys. Goodbye.